Welcome, I'm Film Museum Motorola Edge 20 and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this phone. So we're gonna start off by navigating into the Moto app, which contains a bunch of different uh, settings right here, which I find very interesting. So let's tap on the three bars and start off with the personalize, which obviously allows you to uh, personalize your device. Now there is some simple stuff like wallpaper, so I'm not gonna go over that. But if we go into the style right here, this gives you some customization that not a lot of phones have. So number one, we have the um, toggles so uh, these kind of toggles the shape of them uh, style uh, color then we have applications how they will look like so again shape uh, and style of them and then toggles uh, colors so we have a couple pre-made ones as you can see so you can just flip around but you also have the option to create your own i believe so let's see so basically we have Right here, uh, option to customize colors, uh, icon shape, layout. And going back, we have font, uh, previewed, so that's basically how these ones look. So anyway, um, you can create your own theme one, so you start off by basically selecting your desired font, then we're selecting our desired color. There we go. Select next, then we have icon shape. Then we have icon layout on our home screen. So you can really cram them if you want to. And then just the name of the team. So I'm just gonna keep it as it is, whatever. And there we go. You can then select apply. And as you can see, there are there's our new theme. So anyway, let's move on to the next one. So this one will be, let's just go back to the Moto app. And then let's go into the gestures, which, whoops, not this, gestures, there we go. Uh, and here, as you can see, you have a bunch of different uh, gestures that can activate or deactivate, depending on if you want those or not. Uh, so we have swipe, as an example, swipe to split. Uh, which if enabled, let's see. Um, allows us to split screen apps fairly easily. So swap your finger from the left edge of the screen. Let's see, something like this. Let's see. Oh, app does not support split screen, but as you can see, you just kind of move back and forth and this will split screen. Now, let me just open up an app that I can actually showcase with this. See, there we go, last Chrome. And voila, uh, it's now in split screen. So all I need to now is find another app I would like to split screen with. And there we go. Fairly easy and simple. But as you also seen, uh, it's uh, one of several different options right here. So we have flip for do not disturb mode, pick up to silence, uh, lift to unlock, uh, three finger screenshot, uh, fast touch, not really sure what that does, uh, power touch, Double tap the power button for a quick shortcut. Oh, that's interesting actually. And then we also have quick capture. And that's about it. So as you can see, you have plethora of different things. Now, majority of those, as you already see, are disabled. So if there is some of them that you would like to use, uh, do toggle them on. And yeah, uh, you have, as you can see, there is a bunch more associated with like display, cameras and so on. So you can go around fiddle in this application with different settings, see what you find here, uh, what will basically suit you. But I'll be moving on to a different one, which is going to be the attentive display. Now, I believe that was actually still in here. Yep, it's gonna be under the display section and it's right here. Now, for some reason it is disabled. I strongly recommend to enable this. This will basically make your life a little bit easier. It's a really convenient option right here. and. I would really like to see this on every device basically. So how this works is, well, using the app. So how this works is basically when you're looking at the device, the device uses the front uh, facing camera to determine if you're looking at it or not. And as long as it, it thinks that you are looking at it, it keeps the screen on. 
Once it detects that you're not looking at the display anymore, it will start the countdown for a sleep timer. So basically where the screen just turns off. So as long as you're looking at it, the phone will know to not uh, dim or turn off the display, which is really nice. Now, a lot of apps basically keep it permanently on, for instance, YouTube uh, and like uh, books from Google, stuff like that. Uh, but this allows you to basically keep it on in places like a web browser where when you're not touching the display because you're reading some long article uh, it won't actually turn off your display so really nice now moving on to the uh, next option that i want to show you uh, this one will be a little bit more simple but it's the dark mode now this one will be found in settings under the display section right over here and we have the dark theme and i guess that's how it's called here which once enabled as you can see it turns the entire system into dark mode now this phone does use an AMOLED display which also will uh, have a added benefit of consuming a little bit less battery in this mode uh, now it's not going to be something like drastic uh, you're not going to gain several hours of additional battery life uh, but it's there so thought i would mention and moving on to the next option and also the last one it's going to be the refresh rate now by default it is set to 144 hertz so if you're not the type of person that actually cares for this high refresh rate uh, if you never really uh, noticed it or well never really seen the difference of it um, you will probably see the difference in battery life if you disable this you will have more battery and like i said if you never really seen the difference between having a high refresh rate and, and low one uh, then this probably won't bother you having a lower one but you'll most certainly enjoy having a longer battery life so anyway under the display you will find our display refresh rate right here and as you can see uh, it's set to 144 hertz uh, says that it's smooth but consumes more battery uh, so we can also drop it to uh, 60 which is the default for like every phone that has come out uh, a couple of years back about a year back uh, all of those had 60 hertz and then we have also auto use ai to allow uh, always show the optimal refresh rate up to 120 hertz which will be basically best of both worlds now i am not exactly sure if this is the uh, the one that also lowers it below 60 uh, it doesn't really say that it does but still it will give you the benefit of using basically as much as you need or whenever you need it so 120 hertz less than 140 but honestly uh, the 24 frames that you're gonna get uh, you will probably not see the difference in those but 120 hertz when you're scrolling up and down is really nice i do like it myself uh, and then it will most likely drop to 60 uh, when you're not doing anything so at this moment uh, right now as it's set to 140 the screen is being refreshed 144 times in a single second uh, even though it's really not doing anything with auto it will stick with being 120 right now if i'm scrolling up and down but if i'm not doing anything it's now gonna be using only 60 so 60 uh, refresh rate uh, 60 times the screen will refresh per second and additionally just to quickly rudimentarily uh, explain the refresh rate it's just uh, how smooth the content will look like because if you're scrolling up and down uh, the, how quick you're scrolling will also make it uh, if you're scrolling really quick with 60 oh, hertz refresh rate uh, there will be less content to be displayed and that swipe like this because you it took a split second basically and lower refresh rate i had less time to show you less content through that swipe uh, like you know so imagine 144 hertz imagine just like this smooth scrolling where it just looks smooth but sped up super quickly while when you're doing 60 uh, you don't really get that effect so everything at higher refresh rate looks uh, smoother and just overly in my opinion nicer additionally if you're planning to play games it also looks nice and gaming but anyway, this will conclude all the tweaks and tricks that I wanted to share. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.